Hi everyone, and I'll please watch men. I was going to review you guys tomorrow the original creep production of Frankie Stein and my Walmart that I live near actually has the entire cardboard display two days early before Friday the 13th. Frankie's coming tomorrow in the mail. I chose Jackie Laura. I don't have an original, but I have Picture Day. And my signed vinyl by Debbie Derryberry. My brother got me this sign for me. Very hard to really see that autograph. But she did sign it for me. And she's in the original outfit. So, yeah. I at least have 13 Wishes. And that one. And the most grossest ever. Reboot cheer with messy hair. Boo, boo, boo. I tried fixing reboot the Reboot Cheer doll's hair before. Sorry. I do not want Shooky leaving me. So. Stay, baby. Alright. And I got some of the postcards. <coughs> okay. This is what Dracula and Count Fabulous look like in the box. The original Creep Production. They did have all four of them in the display, so and then the carpet display, and I was like, holy crap. I was like, brother, mom, I got him two days early. Ready to sink my fangs and see some drama. John Dunn's, John Dunn's brother's mix. Here's your John Dunn's, here's your John Dunn's brother's. There's your Chanda's brothers. There you go. Because 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 Chanda's brothers is a Monster High version of the Jonas brothers. There we go. Thinking I'm funny. Yep. It says Boo Original Cree Production. This is her art on the side. Beautiful girl. Ghoul. Draculaura, daughter of Dracula. By the way, that is National Dracula or, or Dracula Day, World Dracula Day. So yeah, that's like two days after I see Monster X on the twenty fourth. Meet the frightfully fashionable teenage children of the world's most famous monsters. She's not even sixteen hundred yet. Yeah. No blood, no meat. I will. I saw Frankie at Walmart, but I will be getting her in the mail tomorrow, so. Oh, and I saw Lesbian Claudine and Laguna Blue. Yeah, I will get those two eventually. Kind of have to save up for, con for Monster X concert merch and stuff like that. And TXT's um, Thursday's Child. But uh, you guys can see that, can you? There's a, there's a purple. There's like a string of Draculaura's hair on the plastic. Alright. Sorry I took that time to um to talk um a, a bit. Um let's see if I can actually open this without Oh god dang it. You know I'm really stressed on this. How do I open this without ruining this box? This is actually in a This is kind of me struggling because I do not want to. Okay, I got it. This is what I'm gonna have to do when I when I do Frankie tomorrow. So whatever I'm doing now is what I'm gonna have to do for Frankie. I'm living and I'm learning, by the way. I'm living and I'm learning. And then you just shimmy, shimmy, coca bop. I think I like that. Yes, I'm quoting. Quoting, quoting the EXO. It goes down, down, baby. Uh, whoa, uh oh, we got me Coco Bop. Oh God! It's not my camera. Oh, kind of crooked. Could probably fix the bending. Probably read this on my own. Volume 1599 and three quarters. 
Mattel 2021. It's also s like stitched, like marked with strings. These are actual reproductions of the originals from 2010. By the way, I was like, I think I was eight or nine back when Monster High came out. Around when I was like eight or nine. I was, I was born in 2001, so I was actually a baby. Just born when, when Bratz came on shelves. So when Bratz were on shelves, I was a little baby boy, baby girl. I was like eight or nine when Monster High was on the shelves. So kind of, kind of have that moment. I remember walking through Toys R Us stores just to go through the Monster High aisle to go to the My Little Pony aisle, which the My Little Pony aisle was right at the aisle after the Monster High. So yeah, every time I went to look at the Monster High, well, not Monster High, the My Little Pony, I went through the Monster High section. There's the brush. This is actually my first Monster High brush because as a kid, I did not collect Monster High. So, I was one of those people who never really collected these dolls. Not until 2020 when I, th when I got my first doll. The Freak You Chic over there. Freak You Chic Cranky was an inbox doll I got for, for 20 bucks. She was a 20 bucks doll. She was missing a hand for some reason. She was kind of like a factory error. I didn't rip that at all. Didn't rip that at all. Also, it says doll stand and diary. I only let my BFFs read my diary. Sure, girl, ghoul. I'll, I will, um. Read it. There it is. Crypt on 13 Wishes. But you know I will not put that on 13 Wishes. Okay. Do I just, do I just, yeah, just shimmy Count Fabulous out the rubber band. This is Count Fabulous. Why does he look really, why does he look really dusty on camera? Why does he look so, maybe it's because he's made of a certain, like a rubbery material. See, his wings are so rubbery. He's very cute though. Look at the little guy. Yeah, so cute. Mm. Ugh. Bat. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow I'll be reviewing. This is her umbrella. There's like the heart and the skelet and the tie and the circles, the pink circles. And her bat handle. Okay. I kind of already did. Well. Okay. And I heard that the hands are actually rubbery. The hands are very rubbery from what I've heard. And they have the exact same pegs as the reboot. The reboot. The original. Like, everyone hates the reboot. Oh, I will also be keeping the box. Ugh. I think I got her. Okay. We, we are ready, girls. Girls, guys, anyone that collects a Monster High doll. Any, any in the, um, <clears throat> um, doll community yeah i'm not racist anyone collects dolls and it's a good thing because dolls are meant for anyone anyone old or young i am 20 turning 21 that's why i said i was a a um that's why i said i was like um nine eight or nine when monster high came out which it's a long stretch. I was a My Little Pony collector. Once I found out there was actual voice actors I knew in the show, I needed to get into it immediately. Jimmy Neutron is Dracula. Laura. Anyways. Here's the box. Intact. No damages. No nothing. Well, I almost ripped the one part. There's like one ding there. 
Okay, I got, like a bunch of tabs. Bunch of freaking tabs on my bed. All right. Okay. Showed you her accessories. This is the reproduction Draculaura. I will be keeping the factory rubber band on her necklace. She's got I gotta be real careful. I think I grabbed one with a really loose rubber button. Like, I've been feeling that. Like, you guys can see the string right there. My dumbass bought a version. I was trying to look through face. I was looking at faces and bangs. I wasn't looking at crooked button. What did you do to my button? I mean, I mean, I can't do a pre pre I can't do a Dracula Laura impression. I'm sorry. Anyways, I got her with a, like, see the button's not, the string's not lined up, the button's not lined up, it's perfectly fine though. She's got her necklace, which is very hard to see. I know it's like very hard to see the necklace. I think it's a flower, a flower or something. I never had the original doll, so I really don't know. There was like her earrings. The original doll doesn't have silver on the earrings, on, on the earrings of, of the bobby pin. She got her flowy collar, the, the, the mesh, the like, the, the mesh and the tint, like the more, Right underneath her skirt. I love that shiny pink. The silver sh um, string. The original doll has this. The tights are shorter. On the reproduction, the tights go past her leg. Which is nicer. And those are her shoes. And her heels with the heart. Her hair is really, really nice. I love how, how soft it is. And there's like no product in it. Off camera, I'm probably going to brush this a little bit. You see a little bit of her bangs, but... There is her face. There's like a little piece of hair on her eyebrow. Some of her glitter... Kind of a, kind of a loss. There's so many drag... There were so many Draculauras to look at. And I got one that has glitter on her eyebrow. There's her heart. Cute pink heart under cheeky teeth. And her beautiful teeth. Blow. Yes. I love, like, I, I'm not gonna, not gonna clean these bangs. Yeah. My only loss is glitter on her, on her, on her eyebrow. But I could take it or leave it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We will be comparing an original doll, but it's not the original, so we don't have the original. We will be comparing the face off of the picture day from 2012. Because I don't have the original doll of the basic. That's the reproduction basic face. This is a face of an original from 2012 of picture day. You can definitely see the difference in the lips. The difference in the lip, the way the heart is made on picture day, the difference of the way the eyes are designed, the way that the eyebrows are designed, and the makeup. Later! What do you mean later? But yeah, there she is.